Sure. Well, and the great thing about MAME is with a single press of a key, you can save your state right. continually. So if every two seconds on MAME you hit save, anytime you died, you can go back. And you can actually go back to whichever save state you want that you've been saving every two seconds mm. and start there and do it. And that's actually, I think, one of the big criticisms of Billy Mitchell before everyone realized, before they did the frame by frame analysis and learned this is a completely MAME generated, completely computer generated, not original Donkey Kong board level. Mm-hmm. Um, and we discussed this in a previous podcast. Billy Mitchell was caught because the, at, when the level draws, even the very first level in Donkey Kong, MAME draws it totally different. And MAME is, of course, the computer emulated version of arcade games, multi arcade machine emulation or whatever, it's, whatever it is. Um, and someone recognized that. And it was because all these Donkey Kong players have. A lot of Donkey Kong players will practice on MAME and then really go to the arcade just to try to set the real right. world record. Uh, I'm, um, one, I'm not a Donkey Kong player, but I, that's how I broke the King Balloon world record. Right. So you'll practice there, and then you'll go try it on the real thing. Mm-hmm. And um, most emulators get it close enough that you can actually do that, and especially in Donkey Kong, which has been um, optimized like a million different times. Mm-hmm. Donkey Kong is one of the ones on MAME that is as close as you can get without actually being the real thing, which is not the real thing because we learned... Billy Mitchell, the way the screen draws the level is different. And all of his videos, the tapes that he submitted, uh, exhibit those same symptoms that uh, exist in MAME. And they caught him. Duh. They've erased all his records ever. Every single record that Billy Mitchell's ever had is gone. 